Hi everyone. I want to talk to you today about whole grains. A lot of confusion about whole grains and it's very important because whole grains should be one-fourth of what you eat. Now here's what you need to understand about whole grains and the difference between whole grains and refined grains and enriched grains and so forth. The whole grain is the entire seed. Now here's a little bit of seed anatomy. The outer part of the seed, the covering, is called the bran. B-R-A-N, like bran flakes and so forth. When you peel away the bran, the bran has most of the fiber in it and it has some nutrients but it has a lot of fiber. You peel away the bran and inside of the bran is the biggest part of the seed. That's called the endosperm or sometimes it's called the kernel. At the base of the kernel is a third part. It's a very concentrated part, which is called the germ part of the seed. Now that germ seed, the germ part of the seed, is the part that makes a new plant grow. So a whole grain will actually, if you planted it, make a new plant, whereas a refined one wouldn't. And that germ part that's down in the bottom is actually the nutrient-rich part, and it's a very essential part. Now when you eat whole grain, you're getting the fiber and the nutrients, the minerals, all the things that you want that are going to make you digest that uh, grain a little slower and that's going to prevent your sugar from spiking and rising very quickly. If you have a refined grain, what happens with refined grains is they've refined it off, they've taken away the bran, the outer layer with the fiber, and they've taken away the germ, that bottom part, which has the majority of the nutrients in it. Now, what ends up with is you get mostly a sugar part, a carbohydrate that's no fiber, so it's digested very quickly, and that causes you to have a spike in sugar. That's the kind of stuff like you get in white flour and many other kinds of, of uh, refined kinds of plants. Now, sometimes you may go to the store and you may find something that's like enriched flour. The enriched means they've taken the grain that's already been refined and it's very fine because it's lost the fiber and the germs, so it's, people like to cook with it because it's very fine, it's easy to work with, but doesn't have the fiber or the nutrients. So what they do is they put a little vitamin B back in it. And so that has the vitamin B but it doesn't have the fiber, so it's still something that causes your sugar to rise very quickly. So that's what enriched is. So whenever it's possible, try to get whole wheat or whole grains because those are the healthiest parts and the ones that keep your blood sugar the most steady. The refined ones, on the other hand, are the ones that cause your sugar to rise quickly that's not healthy because as the sugar rises quickly, your body produces insulin to try and put that sugar into your cells. And if you eat a large amount of it, all that extra sugar gets turned into fat. So I hope this has been helpful to understand whole grains, healthy, have all the bran, the endosperm, and the germ part in it. Refined only have the endosperm or the kernel in it, and that's the difference between a really healthy food and one that's less healthy for you.